Hello and welcome. I am Zyner and this is episode 19 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And uh, you're probably wondering why I'm looking at the floor. Well, I'll show you. I was playing with my texture pack. Mostly just the art. Um, there was a couple other things I changed. One of which being the uh, portal texture color animation. Yeah, pretty much all of the above except for the purple things. I haven't screwed that yet. And uh, I changed some sort of obsidian looked. It also changed mossy so it didn't look so retardedly super green. And I think that's pretty much all I messed with. Oh, glass. I was sick of not being able to see through it so I changed it. So, changed the lighting. I did a few more just kind of not dangerous edits while I was uh, working on just not doing a whole lot. I expanded the tree farm back. It's now two more rows. Ooh. Cactus farm's working a lot better now, mostly because there's a lot more cactus. Let me just show you. This is how I've been placing new ones. Okay, apparently I just can't jump right now, though. They say white men can't jump. I guess it's true. But uh, there's now four rows of four on each side. So, yeah. Um, I do plan to fill this all in at some point with cobble on the side here. And I started going down because, uh, reeds. Opened up my farming chest, and there was 17 inside of it, which was, was kind of handy. Um, you see I have some experience. I did have to kill some mobs, partly because I kept on going out to shear the sheep. Sometimes it was night time, but... Nothing important happened. I think one creeper exploded, and he was nowhere near close enough to me to kill me, so he didn't really count for much. Um, what am I doing over here now? But, uh, oh, I remember. I do plan on making some bookshelves, because I have nine experience now, but I can't really do that till I get some more reeds. So, just need to do some more stuff around here, but I haven't managed to really think of... Anything to do so close to the house. I was thinking about maybe making a dark room trap. I think the spider spawner's close enough and it needs... I need to retry to fix it. Because it's in a pretty bad condition at the moment. Whoops. And for some reason, I'm just having difficulties? No. What? Hmm. Okay, I know I didn't use that much sand. There we go. I did, but I mean I didn't use that much glass. So we're going to go try and fix the spider spawner using some glass. Turn it into a trap. I did make one little tiny thing down there because I felt like beating some spiders in the face with a sword. Nothing threatening. Just uh, cut a hole in the wall. The experience makes its way down below, so... And you know, I probably should have brought some materials with me. Some cobble. As you can tell, I'm starting to get a little bit better at knowing how to get here. I guess my uh, brain stopped being broken. But, uh, yeah, if I, if I want spiders to come out, I can just click the lever and then they can squeeze out through that little hole there. But, uh, we're going to go down here. We are going to deal with this. Oh. Trying to uh, break out the cobblestone with a uh, non-existent pickaxe. Pure genius, I know. But, um... I enchanted an axe. Just... It was just like three points or something and gave me efficiency. Well, that's not quite where I wanted that, but it'll do. Whoops. Now. Yeah. Okay. It's 
already working better. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Spider. Oh, wasted a piece of glass. Spiders are dying. Look at him just sitting there, drowning to death like an idiot. Kind of like I did the one episode. But, hey. Seems to be working. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. You guys are supposed to be sitting in there drowning, not attacking me. Everything is now fine. Except for this. Oh, and the light that's probably transferring up inside. Having fun preparing to drown Mr. Spider? Now, I should be able to just lock these off and that torch shouldn't screw with anything which because that open hole I left up above which is probably slowing the spawn rate a little bit you can see that no light is proceeding up through there Ooh. and there we go that should now fix the spider spawner entirely Of course, though, I can't tell, because I can't see in there. Move that back farther, it shouldn't affect anything. I should be able to pull this back out. See the spiders sitting there drowning, like retards. So now that works again. And actually, I could probably farm experience from this if I wanted to. Hmm, maybe not. Come on, another spider needs to drop on your head and push you down. Why well, just stay there? Apparently hitting them makes them go back up, so I guess it uh, won't work that way. But they'll probably eventually drown, so... Not too worried about them at the moment. I kind of feel like building something on a redstone now that I have it, but I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I could try and make the... Make, you know, the, the wheat farm harvest automatically. That wouldn't be too hard. For the most part. Or I could just walk the wrong way and... Not even know where I'm going. The problem with the harvesting the wheat farm using pistons and water is it's not all that useful unless I make sure it's entirely filled before I do it. Which, not filled, but I mean all the wheat's grown. Could make a piston door, but the last time I had one of those that went real well. And you'll notice there's no more torches in here because there's a block of lightstone behind lightstone glowstone behind each of the uh, paintings and I do have plans to eventually make another painting to put there but I haven't done that yet as you can tell I even made sure to redo the obsidian on the enchanting table um but I don't really have a whole lot of an idea of what I want to do for now I definitely want to do something about the uh, the animal farm over here because this is just not gonna work too much stuff as I tried to jump down on top of my head. I even had to try and kill a zombie that was already in there. And I planted some trees around the outside just because I thought it looked kind of barren. I'm gonna be lucky if I manage to get the whole way around this. 
course, so I didn't really need to go the whole way around it, did I? Just need to make sure that things can't get in from the outside. Which, it's simple enough. Things should no longer be able to just stroll into there. Getting kind of low on my shears, I'm going to have to make another pair. Um, I do kind of want to go back and revisit that ravine. And I'm not keeping my diamond pick on me just because... While the only thing I really needed it for was to make the enchanting table... I kind of don't want to mess with it at the moment. I don't want to risk losing track of it. And I wanted to do some stuff around here, which really doesn't require it. Um, mostly because of the fact that, like I said before, I want to make some bookshelves. In order to make bookshelves, I need things. Um, something I should do, probably... Uh, I kind of want to find a stronghold, but in order to do that, I'm going to have to kill Enderman and get Eyes of Ender... I had that one Eye of Ender, and I'm going to need to go kill more Blaze Men and get Blaze Rods, get Blaze Powder to make Eyes of Ender, as opposed to just having Ender Pearls. But, that's... I don't think I'm quite ready to just go back into the Nether yet. And I'm really not too looking forward to going to the end. It's not a hard fight, by any means, but it's just not time. I just don't feel like I want to go there yet. And yeah, I made a bow, chanted it, power one. It should, in theory, be able to two-shot things now. Um, from everything I've seen before, anyhow. Whoops. But, I haven't really played around with that. Made some fence gates, because I actually have a plan for those. But, I decided not to do that this episode, so we're just going to put those in there. Put my salvaged bricks in here from my house reef forging. Yeah, I made the mistake of coming into this episode without any plan of what exactly I wanted to do. But, uh... I did actually make a list to tell me some of the stuff I wanted to do, but... Well, I guess I could do that, but there's a lot of work involved in that, and it's not really necessary. And you're sitting there going, well, what is that? Well, to be honest, that's something that I don't need to do on camera, because it won't be safe. It won't be safe. It will be safe, and therefore not really necessary to record. Got a bunch of wood. I remember why I had that on me. Need to get rid of, uh... You know what I should do? Get some sand. But... I can't really think of anything in particular to do at the moment, so I'm just gonna go out here and start harassing random mobs. Why not, right? Prob... Hmm. Man, I was not prepared for this episode. I was not prepared at all. I do kind of want to do something with my house. I want to put like a boat dock, but it's not going to work unless I place torches all along here to melt the ice. Which isn't going to work too well. Or I could just dig through the hill whole way through, which still wouldn't accomplish too much. Although... Yeah, I don't know. Well, actually, how much do I have to dig over here if I were to do that? Ugh. Quite a bit. I see you, Mr. Creeper. Hey, now. What? Don't you explode. How dare you not give me gunpowder? Hmm. Wow, 
Wow, that more or less links up directly to my house. Well, not quite, but it'd be very easy to set it up like that. I could actually just place the dock over here. It's going to take a little bit of work because I actually want to make it an enclosed dock. But, uh, that actually wouldn't be too hard. And it doesn't need to be all the way down. That's actually going to be in the way. Hmm. Okay, so apparently all of my ideas went terrible. But, uh, hmm. Maybe I'll make a little, uh, cove over there, like a smuggler's cove or something. Even make some large pirate boats out of wood or something. But, uh, hmm. Talk about being unprepared for this episode. Entirely. But, you guys have some ideas of what I want to do now. Um, I, I need to just brainstorm some ideas of stuff to build. Instead of recording episodes without actually being prepared at all. So, this episode kind of sucks. I apologize for that. I actually didn't come into this prepared. But, can't all be perfect. Apparently, okay, this needs something. I didn't want to go to the nether. But I've decided I want a very large collection of nether bricks right now. So we're going to the nether anyhow. Hopefully this doesn't end up being a extremely long episode. Because they're actually kind of annoying to convert and upload. They just take a while. But uh, I've also thought about doing something to the nether rack like... I've always felt that the nether should be, like, more sinister as opposed to looking like it's made out of a bunch of flesh. So I'm not very enthused about how it looks. So I'm probably going to edit that texture some more. As it currently stands, this appears to be more of a showing-off texture pack edits as opposed to actual accomplishing of things. I haven't been in here in a good while, so I didn't exactly remember how to get over to the uh, fortress parts. And I've actually wanted to slap these pig zombies in the face a few times. Which would not be healthy. I'm sure it would be amusing, but it would not be healthy. But, uh, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna rip this structure down like I uh, had intended doing before. First, I'm going to see what's up on it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Um. Hmm. This is quite possibly extremely dangerous. I've heard that in the latest update, 1.2 update, that lava is actually getting changed, so maybe it'll actually go away when you want it to. But I don't know that for a fact. And the cats have been made a little bit easier to tame. Um, it's actually gone to the point where I'm considering just upgrading to the uh, 1.2 beta pre release development build. I'm gonna go with development build. It's actually the most, uh, gram grammatically, no, terminologically, bleh. yep, terminologically, inventing new words that make no sense, that's how I roll, where the hell does this go, um, oh, uh, what, wow, just wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna go over there just yet. Mr. Blaze Spawner doesn't like me. And I don't like Mr. Blaze Spawner. 
And these pigs are annoying. I'm about ready to just slap one in the face. Whoa. Hmm. Now, there's a little thing I completely forgot about before. Like, I haven't really used it, and I'm sure there's some people out there going, Why don't you do that? You just make an army of pigmen come after me. Where's the other ones? Ooh. That was kind of dangerous. Okay, now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I take this partly broken sword, and I take this almost broken sword, and combine them together into a completely repaired sword. Therefore, I don't have to risk it breaking on me, but I don't just throw away a low durability sword. Um, you're probably wondering why I didn't repair the damaged enchanted sword, for anybody that doesn't know. Repairing an enchanted tool, meaning, you know, weapon, whatever, pickaxe, if you repair it using that method, it becomes unenchanted. I don't think that was ever changed, so... And I didn't want to... Well, I should have just risked it. I mean, Fire Aspect 1, that's probably the least useful of all the enchants I could have gotten on it. But, it's too late for that now. This sure goes down a good distance. Hmm. I think I found the bottom of this nether brick. I thought about rebuilding the portal inside my house, a bit lower, but then I'd have to worry about trying to find my way over here again from the new location. And I could just make another one, but it would just link into the same portal and then I would always pop out in front of my house. So why not just create a building around the current nether portal as opposed to the ruinous mossy cobblestone thing I got going on, which didn't quite turn out the way I had hoped. And just uh, surround it with like a nether building. Because the nether brick actually looks pretty cool. Nether rack, on the other hand, looks terrible, which is why I wanted to change it. But I might just take pretty much every material in the nether except soul sand, because it actually looks pretty good as it is. And I'm just going to dark level it, basically. Strip it of all saturation, or most of it, and just darken it down a lot. So, it'll look fairly close to obsidian, but it'll still look very different. Like, it'll still maintain the texture, but it'll be darker, more sinister, more what I envisioned the nether to look like. And I might just leave nether brick alone. Well, I don't know, having a nice dark brick to work with would actually be kind of cool looking, in theory. Like, it's already kind of dark. Besides the fact that I'm sitting here without a torch. But, uh... Like, I want dark. I think it would complement my floor pretty well. And maybe I should actually just use this brick. Redo the outside of my house. Once again. With a different material. Just to annoy people going, Why you no keep it the same? Well, I don't keep it the same because of the fact that... That's the kind of person I am. Gotta change things fairly often. Anybody who knows me knows that to be true. Especially on APB, I take full advantage of the customization capabilities of it. I constantly redo my character, like every day, at least once. Which, I thought about doing videos of that, I think I've mentioned this before, but can't really do that. It's not really a let's play capable game. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. I could review it. It's technically been re-released re re is technically the term I should be using, but it's been released for, I don't know, like two months now? But there's not really a whole lot to review. It's a third person shooter. You go in, you shoot people. Plain and simple. And you're probably also going, why are you talking about other games? We're supposed to be playing Minecraft. Well, I'm digging. There's not really a whole lot to talk about. Other than the fact that with the latest 1.2 update, creepers are more intelligent. 
yep, they've learned how to path. There is an upside. The new mob, the new tameable mob, ocelots, which are cats, scare creepers. If a creeper gets within, like, four or five blocks of one, it turns around and runs away. I can't see a goddamn thing. So, basically, the way it's being designed, gather ocelots, circle your house, and you will never have an issue of losing sections of your house to a creeper ever again. Because they can sit like wolves. So, yep. What do I got? I got four stacks and another brick. Somehow, I'm just... It's just not enough. And yeah, you know, it's a boring digging episode. I mean, there's not even any gas to liven it up. So that's actually kind of saddening. Okay, seriously? I'm getting sick of my torch getting destroyed because I'm wiping out blocks. I did say, though, in a previous nether episode that I was probably just going to destroy this. And, uh, I'd say so far I've done a pretty good job of completely wrecking it. Whoops. Apparently, completely wrecking it. Hey, 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 hey. I've already attacked you guys once. I'm not ready to do that at the moment. Just leave me alone. Go away. that block. Oh, uh, I suppose it's good enough for now. Still not entirely sure. I kind of do want to make my house out of nether brick now. Regular brick is fine and all, but it still doesn't quite match up with my floor as I had hoped. I mean, if I darken down netherrack too, that won't look too bad. Like, make the, the roof out of netherrack and Make the walls out of nether brick. Somebody will hate me. Mostly because I took a good texture pack and I'm slowly annihilating it to my favor. But, I'm not going to release it in any way unless, you know, I talk to the creator. So if somebody asks me for it, I might be able to, like, email it to you or something. But I can't put it up for active download somewhere. Like, I can't actively distribute it. So. Well, too bad for you, I guess. There's no way I'm going to distribute something without the creator's permission. Wait, why are you in my house? I, I guess I don't have enough light in here. You have failed me, Glowstone. You have failed me. One of these days I'm going to walk in here and there's going to be a creeper. Then what? Hmm. It wasn't until I walked in here that I realized there's good use for the uh, nether fence. Yes, I know I did all that work taking torches out of here, but not only does that make it so I can't just fall down into my stairs, that also makes it so I have some light in the middle of the house. So that's handy. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, it's gonna need to be like desaturated before it'll match up well enough. Well, 
But, uh, sorry about the all in all boring episode. But, uh, yeah. Guess I'm gonna call that the, uh, end of the episode. There's not really a whole lot to do. So I'm sorry about, uh, the lack of being prepared. That was the biggest problem here. So, uh,. I'll see you again in episode 20.